it's the real, you know you dealing with a real one. So before I get to the curly puff, normally my hair is usually in like curls, which usually come from a flexi rod set or a roller set, just depending. And I try to wear my curls as long as I can before washing them out because I don't like to wash my hair too often. And so when the, my curls get old, like the flexi rod set or a roller set, which I'll link below for you to check out, then I push my hair back in the front and kind of just, you know, pin it with two bobby pins and I style in the front, then I just style my baby edges or just my edges, period. Then when that doesn't work anymore... I just push my hair over to the side and I do like a mohawk. And then when the mohawk ain't popping no more, then that's how you get to the curly puff. Like, you just, you wash your hair out. You work it, make it work until you can't make it work no more. And you just got to wash your hair. But I had to just let you all know that this is how you get to that because you don't just get to it. Like, I got to bring it back and let you know how we get to this point. So, when we get to this point for where you actually trying to do your curly puff, if you want rocking the old flexi rod set or whatever old curly hair style you have, and you want to do that, just you know, moisturize your hair and put a few rods in it to make it get some curls. And when you get those curls, you want to kind of work it up into whichever section you want for your puff, whether you want it up high, you want it down low, up high, down low, in the middle, too slow, or whatever you want to do. <laughs> um, work with it like that. And then I put my gel on my edges. And for this purpose of this one, by the way, let me let you all know, the brush is damp as well. And um, I just went ahead and brushed my hair actually into the ponytail section that night and then I rolled my hair like that. That's why all of my rollers were in the middle. And I use soft rollers because it's just what I prefer to use that night over flexi rods. But use whichever ones you like. And I'm doing like a pulling motion to just like, you know, pull the curls and lift them up a, a little bit more. But not really running my fingers through them just yet. You don't want to do that until you got it in the final style that you want it in because you only want to work with them once. So along with the water and the gel, it just make your edges just pop. like. It's going to set. You put that scarf on and you be like, on fleek. You're ready to go, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> uh, the reason I know y'all going to say, why you just use a ponytail holder? Why are you using a banana clip? And where did you get it? I don't even know where I got that thing from. It's just something we have around the house. I was like, let me see what this do. And so, the reason I don't use a ponytail holder is because it's it pulls more of your hair and it lays flatter. I wish I had a picture to show you what a puff looks like when you do it with a ponytail. It's not as big because too much of your hair has been pulled into the ponytail. With the banana clip, your hair is not clipped all the way, so this center kind of, you can make it stand up more. That's why I put emphasis on making sure those curls are set and tight, because otherwise you're not going to get that. Now, depending on everybody's hair texture is different. Some people got thicker hair, thinner hair. Just try to try it out and see, you know, how it works with your hair and what you need to adjust and change for your curly puff. And so I just take like a wide tooth comb and I'm picking it around. This is the point where you go ahead and finger comb your hair. You don't want to style it before you position it where you wanted it because you might mess around and lose your curls okay so now i take my two brushes down my edges some people don't like to do this if you don't like the whole curly baby edges or just edges period whatever the case may be everybody loves this different some people don't like it if you like this sleek look then go ahead but for me i like styling my edges it frames the face it just accents everything and makes it look more girly and cute in my opinion and the two brush has never been used on my teeth before let me let you know just in case anybody is wondering. So what I do is like a swoop motion. It's like three on each side. It's like swoop, swoop, swoop on the left, swoop, swoop, swoop on the right. Make sure if you get in your living room, make sure you get your kitchen too. Like don't leave the kitchen hanging in the back. Kind of neaten it up back there too, okay? <laughs> After that, I take my silk scarf and I just put it on for like my last few minutes of being at home before I head out for work. And I do apologize for not having, you know, actually live um, audio or whatever. I just... You know, I was rushing, getting ready for work, but I did want to show you all this. And leave your questions and comments down below. And I didn't get to show you the last look, but it will be in the, you know, just some videos that I have from when I did this style. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair anyway and um do roller sticks. I wanted to wear my hair like this, but weekend, so I just like something like this. But for the week, I won't want to wear this all week, so I'm going to wash my hair and I'm gonna sit under my dryer. Sneaky, don't rip up my dirty clothes, hamper. Don't play with me, or that, or that, sneaky. Bad tip, okay? Don't mess with my toes neither. <laughs> 